T1G training facilities, 2009. Five years later, Steve Reichert is back behind the M82A3, the weapon he used to take out insurgents from a mile away. It's a mini explosion going off about four feet in front of your face. A large overpressure, a lot of noise. It's not a pleasant gun to shoot all day long. 30 or 40 rounds, and you want to quit. Still a great weapon system. In April 2004, uh, my weapon system, the M82A3, was loaded with magazines full of the Mark 211 Raupus round, and the, uh, the business end of these rounds are what the bad guys were experiencing. Same weapon, same round, same sniper. Riker will fire the 50 caliber Raupus rounds into a nine inch thick cinder block wall. The same type of wall insurgents hid behind when he made his one mile kill shot. Once this round impacts the target, the RDX will detonate, kind of create a mini shape charge. So if there's any flammable liquids, gas, anything of that nature, it uh, immediately detonates or catches fire. Going hot. The 671 grain round hits the wall at 2,850 feet per second. An incendiary mix in the nose of the bullet ignites explosives in its core, launching a tungsten steel penetrator through the concrete. So what we have here is a solid filled concrete wall. You can see where the initial blast and explosion took effect. You can actually see where the steel penetrator worked all the way through a good nine inches of solid concrete and popped out the other end. To simulate the insurgents hiding behind the wall, Reichert adds a block of ballistic gelatin, the same consistency as human tissue. Back in April, I saw three insurgents coming up the back stairs of a uh, building. I picked where I thought they would be, sent around, crashing into the wall. The round detonated, and you had that shotgun blast coming into where the insurgents were. The gel will give you a good sense of, if, if there were a person sitting here, what would happen to him after this round penetrates. Double hearing protection. <laughs> the, the overpressure on this weapon system is quite significant, so uh, I'm already deaf in one ear from an IED. Don't need the other ear gone. Sorry. The Ralphus round blasts through the wall and into the ballistic gelatin. done an actual test like this before we've never actually seen it in slow motion obviously the mark 211 round penetrated that first block no problem the explosion started to happen on the the first panel of the block blew out the second panel of the block and then uh, the gelatin block itself caught a majority of the fragmentation the wound cavity is massive and then the majority of the jacket the actual tungsten steel penetrator uh, actually penetrated out the back end, no surprise there, and then punched through this concrete block and it continued on. If there were a person back here, uh, they would be in many pieces right now. Ballistics expert Fernando Coelho analyzes the damage. The blade is going about three inches now and it's already in this cavity. Coelho worked with numerous government agencies for 20 years. There's actual cement material throughout the, the wound path. This is just devastating. You could have had um, three people back to back, and this round would have most likely gone through all three. 